All right, we've got to start with obviously the final two minutes. Take us through your your mind. Uh, Geeky just said he was probably more nervous on the bench <laughs> than you were on the ice, but you seem calm and cool, collected. Do you feel that way? I do. I just I'm so grateful for the opportunities and and how the games present themselves, and I just embrace everything with open arms and a smile. And I'm just so proud of the guys in front of me, the way that they battled, played the systems well, communication, everything, and it showed tonight. We had an edge and. <laughs> and we weren't taking no for an answer. Jeremy, I'm sorry if you've been asked this before, but where did you learn to stay so calm and in the moment yeah, we started and not let any nerves get to you? A lot of people, so <laughs> a lot of great mentors. My dad being one of them, Alfie Michaud being one of them, countless, countless coaches, Greg Vanover, Red Yendron, and, and I just can't thank my mentors enough for showing me the way and, and replacing that word nervous with excited and just being me and, and embracing moments and and that's when I find the most enjoyment, is truly living it to the absolute fullest, and I couldn't be happier. Last one for me, do you realize the well, common yeah, effect you have on your players? I mean, I say it all the time, but when, you know, they can't clear a puck, but they know you're in that, they credit you for just keeping them in it. Do you realize the effect on them? Uh, I think it's just contagious in this room. I think everyone has that effect on everybody, and that's just a big testament to what kind of locker room we have, the quality of player and, and human beings we have in here, and and people that, that are willing to work and, and pay attention to detail and do whatever it takes to get that extra step, make that extra play. And, and for me, personally, I know that's what makes me so calm and confident in our group. And, and I want to do my job just as much as they're doing theirs. So it's a great team to be a part of. Jeremy, before the game, the Bruins unleashed a video of Marshy talking to you guys, greeting you guys. How much did you draw inspiration from, from that? His, hang, his jersey's still hanging right there. And, it will never come down because he's going to be back in it very soon. So just explains what kind of human being he is, what kind of leader he is to our group. Even when he's not playing, he's here warming up with us, he's doing whatever he needs to do to be around just as if he were playing. And talk about a calm and cool, collected human. It's Marshy, and he knows exactly what to say at the right times. And just couldn't be happier being a part of this group and, and having a leader like him. Do your, do your senses get sharper in that third period like that when with everything on the line do you do you find yourself just kind of living second to second in, in, in that um, <laughs> I want to say sharp the whole game uh, from the drop the puck to, to the last whistle and if I'm not as sharp as I am in the third period we're not going to make it to the third period in a good position so for me it's just exactly what you said moment by moment save by save, play by play and when I do that, it just dials me in to, to live in the moment and do whatever I need to do to stop the puck. Understandably, but the building is getting louder. They're taking more shots and so forth. Do you feel it around you, even even as you're maintaining your, your own? I love energy. I can feel energy. And to be honest, the only thing that matters to me are the guys in black and gold out there. And again, when I focus in on the simple things like that, I, I couldn't be more dialed in and I couldn't. I, I would run through a wall for these guys. I'd do anything for these guys to make a save. So that's all I'm caring about out there. And it, uh, it's really special to get wins like that. Do you know what it's like in that final minute, especially on that Reinhardt attempt? In the five, in the they're, they're a high-quality team. They have high-quality special teams. So I just wanted to make sure I was in the position to make the first save and also aware to make that second save for the open guys. So, again, the guys in front of me did such a good job blocking seam passes, making sure I saw the first shot, and, and I think they did a really good job structurally to allow me to make saves.